Good afternoon and welcome back to the 2022 PGA Championship here at uh, Southern Hills Country Club, Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're with Justin Thomas, who put forth a 300 par 67 today. Justin, that uh, birdie on the 18th had to be a nice cherry on top for what was a really solid round of golf and some adverse conditions today. Yeah, I think I would, uh, I'd call any birdie on 18 a steal. Right. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a hole that you would, beginning of the week, gladly take four pars on and, um, and probably lap the field quite a bit. So to, to finish the day with a three there was, um, yeah, was was a great bonus and and a nice end to a, to a solid fight out there. Yeah. All right, let's hit the floor here. Let's go over here right across number one. Yeah, Justin, you've obviously been playing some pretty good golf, but it seems like some of your best golf has come in tough conditions. Why do you think that is? Um, I think it's because I focus a lot more on what I'm trying to do in terms of the shot I'm trying to hit, the trajectory, uh, the distance, and and think less about golf swing. You know, I think I really wasn't pleased with how my range sessions have gone this week and, and just how I felt over the ball. And I got a little frustrated yesterday with my dad, and I'm just like trying to figure out how to feel better over the ball. Um, and then, you know, he was like, well, let's just start trying to hit some shots, you know, like put a stick out, like let's hit some fades, hit some draws, and then immediately just start flushing it and hitting it how I wanted. And it's just one of those things I pretty much just need to suck it up and stop trying to at this stage when I'm out there playing a competitive round I can't try to get my club in certain positions and 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 whatnot and I think when I get in conditions like this I just get out there and I try to hit shots and try to hit numbers as opposed to trying to get it in a certain position and um, and going from there so I, that's something I really try to do today and uh, I feel that it worked pretty well say you got frustrated was that about like not getting it in the proper position or specific it, it just, stuff I, like that yeah I mean I was just hitting it terrible I couldn't I wasn't hitting the middle of the face I wasn't hitting the shots I wanted I, I just feeling bad over the ball is obviously not a very good feeling um, I didn't necessarily feel great over it today I just but I felt good enough to where I could do somewhat of what I wanted um, so I mean that's the big thing it's just it, the time when you're off or, or the practice range or the, the prep days are times when you can try to work on stuff. But when you get out there, it's game time and it's time to just, um, you know, try to get it in the hole as, as soon as you can. Right next door with Dan, too. How are you feeling physically? It, it looked like you might have been a little under the weather earlier in the week. I sound pretty good. <laughs> you, sound, you sound amazing. Yeah, I definitely don't feel my best, but I, I feel better than I sound. I, I felt terrible Tuesday. Um, felt a little better yesterday and then feel a little better today i'm just i guess the allergies here are just crushing me i've i'm more congested i felt like i had a sinus infection coming on but i think i've kind of fought it off but yeah just uh slightly congested and then a couple guys in here have talked about the difficulties of the bunkers this week yeah i don't know if the sand is a little more pebbly or, or what are you finding in there it's it's um definitely the hardest sand i've the the most challenging sand i've ever played in just because you it's First off, it's not very consistent, you know, like on eight today. Um, I mean, I told Bones it was wild. Like my left foot, when I was kind of digging in, it was like a little bare I could feel. And then my right foot was like pretty good, like normal. And then under my ball, it was like hitting off this. So uh, like it, it, some of them have no sand. Some of them are good sand, whatever it is. But then when you do, that's very pebbly. And you can sometimes you can kind of get them between – the face and the ball, and you'll just see him shoot up and offline. And, and I'm sure you've seen from watching the coverage, it's really difficult to get spin, um, basically impossible. So some of those bunker shots that are generally pretty easy or guaranteed up and downs definitely is not the case this week. Right behind three. Uh, JT, just curious, like, how do you think a younger version of yourself who maybe hadn't been practicing shot making as much would have handled something like not – feeling comfortable over the ball and not able to revert to like being a bit of an artist out there? Uh, probably not well. And I, I mean, I think it's just part of evolving as, as a player and a person. I mean, I would, I would like to hope at 29, you know, I'm, I'm more mature than when I was 23 or four. And I would like to think and hope that my game is developed as well. So I think a lot of people would say the same. So I just think it's one of those things, the more times you get yourself in a situation, Hopefully, the more you learn and to where when you get in situations like this, you know, you're able to kind of draw back on past experiences. Straight by me, Ryan, seven. 
Uh, Jay, two, uh, two unrelated things. Uh, we talked obviously at the Masters about unfocused in the in the first mm -hmm. round. What did you do today to to kind of lock in for the opening <laughs> round of a major? Uh, I mean, I didn't do anything different. I did all my normal routine kind of stuff. I just um, I think sometimes either not feel my best with my game or or physically. Um, sometimes it makes me feel like I almost need to focus a little bit more just because I know that I don't have my best stuff and. I, I can't afford to get lazy, and and um, I just mentally need to be fully there and, and sharp. And I think you know Bones knew that going in, and I feel like we did a good job of being very specific and very, um, just very very small targets and, and specific in the shots where we want to start, land yardages, stuff like that. To where the more I could do that, the more I could hone in. And secondly, it's obviously such a unique relationship with, with your dad as your swing coach. Mm -hmm. How do you guys navigate some of those, you know, potentially tense moments that you that you had like you had on the range? Uh, it's a lot different. I mean, I, I get pissed at him sometimes. And I think as a dad, he doesn't want to – he's, you know, he's not going to go full Butch Harmon or Pete Callen and tell me I suck or, like, that's not very good or whatever it is. And sometimes I would love for him to say that just because it's – I'm. I want to hear it, you know what I mean? And um, so, I, I mean, I have to remind him sometimes, like, that. You, you're not my dad out here. You're my swing coach, and I need you, I need you to tell me if something's wrong. I don't, need my, I don't need my ego boosted. I'm here to try to win a golf tournament and play well, so do your job kind of thing. But it's gotten a lot better over the last couple of years, and, um, but it's like any, you know, any player-coach relationship. So you, need, you need that accountability, I think. Justin, thanks for finding us. Uh, go thanks. rest that voice, and we'll see you in the morning.